Was she out there, cousin? <laughs> Fucking yeah. Yeah, did you? <laughs> so here we are with uh, Anthony Fitzgerald in Hove after a points victory over Axie Ripchev. Uh, tell us how you, the uh, fight went for you, Anthony. It went well, well. I thought it went well. I thought I beat him more than what I did beat him, but I had to give it to him. He, he's a tough lad, but I haven't had all day. Like, he only let me weigh in at 7 o'clock there. So that's, that's not an excuse, but I do feel drained after. Yeah, so. yeah. So how come the major uh, wait so long for, uh, for the weigh-in? Because it was a little bit over today, and right. then he didn't turn up, and then... so. Couple of reasons then. Couple of reasons. Couple of reasons. So, uh, in terms of your performance, uh, what was the what was your pl ga uh, game plan going into the fight? Get the eight rounds out of it. Yeah. And get away the ring rust. We haven't been in the ring for basically the best part of the year. Yeah. So it's been a while since you've been in the ring. Did, did you feel you really needed the rounds? Yeah. Yeah. I needed the rounds. Like I only got five rounds in my last fight, so I did need the rounds. And the fight before that was twelve rounds, so it was yeah. Great. And then clearly, like, so I had to get the ring rust on me as well. What What did you make of your opponent? Very, very tough. Very tough, and he just kept coming at me. So. What What did, What did you know of him before? Did you watch the Matthew Hall fight, or did you watch anything? No, I didn't really watch. Or did you leave that to Phil? I left. Yeah. I left that to Phil, and that's what I do all the time. Phil watches it, and what have you. So they tell me what to do. So I right. Okay. Do so this lines you up now. You've got your contract. You're in prize fighter. Uh, is, are you looking forward to that now? Yeah, You've I got the contract for a yeah. prize fighter. Is that a fight you're going to take in now? Yeah, yeah, that's the one I'm going to take. Yeah. And you've seen a, a, most of the lineups being announced by Eddie Hearn. Um, what do you make of the lineup so far? Well, it's, it's going to be one of the hardest prize fighters. So when I do win it, it's going to be I won the hardest prize fighter. And yeah. Not only the Irish prize fighter, I won the hardest prize fighter because, as you know yourself, there is a couple of good lads in it. Yeah. And all due respect to them. I'm a lot better than any of them. Yeah, yeah. Well, you've more experience than, than quite a lot of them, because a lot of them, quite a lot of them, have short, short enough resumes. Um, but I suppose the main person people you'll be looking at is uh, Mark Heffron and maybe Eamon O'Kane. Would, would that be the same as you, or are you looking at someone well, else? Or not really, no, because I've had more experience, as you said, than them too. So I know me way more around the ring than what they would as a pro. Yeah. Well, as you know as well, it's three rounds. Yeah. So they know more about that. Well, I'll we'll be comfortable enough for it. Right. Okay. We, we all know prize fighter is is uh, turns up the shots. A bit of luck. Yeah. A bit of luck. Anyone, can, anything can happen between cuts, injured injuries. You know, some of the best fellows have gone out through injury. But, uh, with a bit of luck and the, and the preparation, the preparation for this didn't go as we planned because we were up sparring uh, McGee and we were injured. We, the week before we went up, we injured his neck. Right. So and we injured again sparring McGee and he was still he was still fantastic sparring neck. Uh, Brian McGee before uh, before Brian McDonald won the world title. He was, he, Brian McGee was very sharp. He was holding his own. He was getting good rounds out, and, and then it came cut short. So we had to take a break back from the the tray preparation for this. Right, and realistically, we wanted to get the eight rounds yeah. and, and just have a polished performance. Right, and what we've seen tonight was a polished performance, nice and tidy, not too rugged, not going wild. Picked off the jab, right, trying to get the ring to stop and. and like basically, you can shine better than what he's showing tonight. Yeah. That was a tough way we did against. Well, it's good to be talking to you now, Phil, because you're going to be a very important. Uh, it's going to you're going to play a very important role over the next couple of weeks because it's not like a straightforward fight. It's a, it's going to take a lot of a master plan and, and preparation and planning beforehand. What what are you going to what are you going to change in terms of his, is is what you would do, usually do in terms of your training? for well, the prize fighter format well i don't really want to say because uh, i don't want to let anything out for i want to keep the secrets right? so but we, it will be changed we've already spoke about this our team here we've already spoke about how we're going to change it because we went through the prize fire with willie casey that's true we yeah had a bit of experience from it yeah right the you didn't, do, you didn't the do too bad that time but we did okay yeah <laughs> but um so we, we know what to expect we're not going in blind yeah right? and so uh, so we always got so please, 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 God, he's doing it. JJ McCunn is in it as well. He'd be, yeah. he'd be a handful over mm -hmm. three rounds. There'd be a few boys there, be a handful over three rounds. Yeah. Maranto would probably be the most experienced. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and we take it from there. We'll have to change a little bit of our tactics. Like, like we change it tonight, we can change it again the next time. Right. Okay, listen, thanks very much for talking to us and uh, see you in Price Fight. Cheers, thanks very much.